Guten Morgen. It's wonderful to be here in Vienna and especially on such a gorgeous day. Just arrived from South Africa where is well known we had a long anti-apartheid struggle in order to achieve freedom, democracy, human rights of our people. The kind of democracy that we have come to believe and understand exists in countries such as Austria, guaranteeing people freedom of assembly, freedom of expression, and um, I must say it has been something of a shock to arrive here in this absolutely beautiful city of Vienna uh, as a guest of the Austrian BDS organization uh, who have treated me so very well, made me feel so welcome on behalf of Austria's people and then to find that the plans have been dashed by a city council here operating in, quite frankly, an absolutely undemocratic fashion uh, as to prevent this BDS organization, with me as their guest, from uh, having the right to hold a meeting, express our sympathy and our solidarity and support for a Palestinian people who in terms of the United Nations resolutions of so many years uh, have been deprived of their essential rights and their right of self-determination. I must say that the news which we received in South Africa as I was leaving to come here has um, shocked the people of South Africa and um, we will have uh, the meeting in fact this evening here on the 29th of, of March because the BDS group are very resourceful and have found a way of having a meeting where we can express our views in a very peaceful manner, in a non-violent manner and explain, amongst other things, what boycott, divestment and sanctions is all about, which after all is something that was born in South Africa in relation to the world's revulsion for apartheid, for racist colonialism, uh, in which we see in Israel today in its treatment of the Palestinian people. So we've come down, we've walked through the city this morning with our friends uh, to see the city hall. We were very anxious, in fact, to meet with the mayor, to meet also with the director of the museum, to engage in a discussion and explain what BDS is about, how we understand the rights of expression and assembly, and to make it very, very clear, I say this now as somebody who is of Jewish descent, brought up as a Jew in South Africa, and I'm very proud to be part of a growing number of Jewish people, certainly in South Africa and countries from as far afield as the United States of America, to Brazil, to Germany and Austria, and Britain and France, all over the world in fact, um, who say quite clearly that to stand up against Israeli colonial settler racism, their disgraceful and brutal treatment of the Palestinians, does not mean and does not equate with anything remotely like anti-Semitism. In fact, my view is that given Austria's very troubled history, its links with Nazi Germany, the occupation, willingly with Nazi Germany, should be one in which the Austrian leadership, government at national to municipal level, as in the case of the um, council here in Vienna, should be 
sympathetic and understand the plight of the Palestinian people, which is precisely the lesson of the Holocaust as understood by many Jews, including myself, and that is that there should be no oppression, there should be no incremental genocide, there should be no killings, massacres, and occupation as we have come to see it in Israel and within the occupied territories. So I've got with me here this letter which is addressed to Mayor Michael Ludwig, to um, the Chairman of the City Council of Vienna and to the Council members, which I will read for you. Dear members of the Municipal Council, of the honour to be a guest in your historic and beautiful city, having been invited by the Austrian chapter of Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions campaign, the BDS Austria, for this year's uh, Israel Apartheid Week in Vienna. Uh, this evening we should have given a lecture in the Volkskund Museum, followed by a public discussion one in which we would have open questions and answers explaining our position in an absolutely peaceful environment. Um, and PDBDS is a peaceful and non-violent campaign and is recognized as such internationally. Whatever its opponents might say, we fully believe that the supporters of the campaign should have the right freedom of expression and assembly. Unfortunately, the director of the Volkskund Museum, Matthias Beigel, has terminated the agreement with BDS Austria at short notice, clearly under the pressure of the council. He made this decision on the basis of the Municipal Council Resolution of 2018 that the city would, to quote, not cooperate with anti-Semitic BDS movement, end quote. I understand that decision was made unanimously, 100% by every single member of the council, which is absolutely amazing, um, and that there seems to have been no public debate whatsoever regarding that resolution. Or oh, whatever the circumstance, I believe it to be in your interest as well as that of your broader community of people to permit me to provide you with a counter view in this regard. I propose this with the best intentions and taking into account the history of your great city and the just interests of the Palestinian people. The rights of Palestinians to self-determination and justice are recognized worldwide in numerous United Nations resolutions from as long ago as 1947. The rights of Palestinians to self-determination and justice are recognized worldwide. In fact, we believe that such an approach is also in the long-term interests of the Israeli people whether they be Jewish, Christian, Muslim, or non-believers. I regard the City Council's decisions with great concern. First of all, the assumption that the BDS movement is anti-Semitic is totally unfounded. The BDS campaign is supported by many Jewish people as well as famous human rights activists, such as Angela Davis of the United States, whose visit and speech was celebrated in Vienna on the occasion of the 650th anniversary of the University of the City. Miss Judith Butler, also a celebrated guest of the University of Vienna, supports the BDS movement. In my home country, South Africa, Figures such as the Nobel Peace Prize laureate Archbishop Desmond Tutu is a great supporter. 
BDS was a successful method of struggle used initially against the system of South African apartheid and no lesser person than Nelson Mandela expressed his fullest support for the rights of the Palestinian people. As representatives, you have very heavy and important responsibilities. But in this instance, I find your decision highly questionable, non-transparent, and clearly undemocratic. You seem to practice a top-down approach, an exclusive top-down approach that disregards your civil society and how it forms opinions with respect to a legitimate human rights campaign, refusing city subsidized facilities, public facilities, to our campaign, in effect, is so unjust, pushes us out of a public debate and public space, space that should be available to all inhabitants of Vienna and to those who are invited by them. Finally, I want to reiterate my dismay about your recent decision because I'm personally affected by it as someone who has had his rights curtailed by South Africa's infamous apartheid regime of the past and over many, many years from the time I was a very young adult in 1960 right through to the end of apartheid in 1990, those 30 years, I must say that really to experience this again in your democratic country, in your democratic city of Vienna, is an extremely distressing and highly regrettable experience. As a veteran of the South African anti-apartheid movement and a member of the democratic government of South Africa from the time of President Mandela from 1994 for 14 years to 2008 in three different ministries, it is a serious concern that here in Vienna my freedom of expression has been prevented. I also believe that it is highly detrimental to the good reputation of your city council and this very beautiful city. I consequently request that you, as representatives of the city, have the decency to meet with me and to hear my points of view so that we can better understand exactly what is going on, exactly why you take such a regretful decision. Thank you very much for giving me the time. And uh, this letter is signed by me will be handed in to the mayor's office. Have a very good day.